Influencer invasion as Pakistan launches tourism push. Half moved in on the land of the pure. Plus critics warn their rose tinted filters are irresponsible and sell an inaccurate picture of the conservative, militancy starved country. As security improves, Cricketer turned Prime Minister Imran Khan is keen to promote the nation's tourism potential, with the government claiming it has eased visa restrictions for many foreign visitors. The push has resulted in an influx of foreign travel bloggers exploring the virtues of its mountains and beaches, as well as its rich heritage and history, from ancient Indus civilizations to Buddhist shrines and Islamic monuments. Pakistan, it was the trip of a lifetime, food and travel I have ever marked Lee's told his 4 million subscribers. Polish blogger Eva Zubek informed her followers it could become the number one tourist destination in the world, while Canadian social media, influencer Rosie Gabriel said she wanted her stories to tell the truth about the country. But there are concerns influencer content does not reflect the major challenges, from infrastructure to extremism, that Pakistan is facing as it embraces modern tourism. The best, whose fruit was even shared by officials, cites government commerce initiative emerging Pakistan, as well as Pakistan International Airlines as partners. She's worked with, while we credit tourism expo Pakistan travel mark for making the amazing trip happen. Gabriel says her 3,500-kilometer motorcycle trip across the nation was facilitated by a Pakistani association in Oman. Alternative vision of Pakistan weren't seen as an essential stop on the Hippie Trail. Visitor numbers have slumped since the 70s when the country first underwent sweeping Islamization then descended into a bloody battle with militancy. Deadly attacks still occur but security concerns are easing, so authorities and businesses are keen to shape the perception it is a hostile and dangerous place. They are enthusiastic at so-called social media influencer advertising, which generally provides glossy snapshots rather than in-depth investigation, can present an alternative vision of Pakistan to a new generation of young and adventurous travelers. People believe them, says Pakistan Travel Mark CEO Ali Hamdani, who helped set up Ween's trip, adding that bloggers' impressions are regarded as attentive. Yet Pakistanis and seasoned foreign travelers warn such posts on social media do not paint a full and honest picture of Pakistan. Tourism infrastructure is severely underdeveloped. There are okay government restrictions on places foreigners can visit, and travelers are often harassed whether by men bothering women in a patriarchal society, or suspicious intelligence officials detaining curious sightseers or insisting on security escorts. All this, Everything is wonderful in Pakistan, it's just irresponsible, revealed to an indignant 51, Tyson year old Raven who declined to give her last name, she has been harassed by a police officer during a visit to the northwestern Swat Valley. All of these travelers are also traveling with food and are protected by more powerful people, she argues. Hamdani, for example, acted as a driver for both Queen and another influencer, Trevor James, during their visit, smoothing out any issues. Tibet and Gabriel were able to visit the southwestern province of Balochistan, famed for its spectacular scenery, but also for violent insurgencies, which means few foreigners are able to visit without the blessing of intelligence agencies. Post-colonial hangover, what influencers published doesn't represent the real experience, warned Alexandra Reynolds, an American blogger on her fifth trip to Pakistan, adding that there is a risk that less experienced travelers will be misled by such content and potentially end up in trouble. In a time when Pakistan's international reputation is so fragile, it is not something that should be risked. The 27 Python year old explained, revealing that she too experienced harassment from security forces during a previous trip. Another tourist, Sebastian, 30, says he was detained for 14 hours and questioned by suspicious government agents in the southern city of Mithi last September. There is also frustration from Pakistanis that Western bloggers have been faded by authorities, while locals with better cultural understanding especially of sensitive issues such as gender or blasphemy are sidelined. It kind of makes me angry to have white people represent us. We are not completely done with our post-colonial hangover, says Damon. Despite concerns, the bloggers remain.
enthusiastic. Subet, 27, has gained a huge following in Pakistan, where a local phone company has sponsored some of her videos. She insists, my job is not to love Pakistan. My job is to make content. But I love Pakistan. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.